It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Paul and a Brewery. Paul and a Mansion, Munich. And this is their Weiss beer. And I'm a massive fan of their Weiss beer. I drink it. It's available in Marks and Spencers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ooh, Marks and Spencers. Um, but I do go to Marks and Spencers specifically to buy this beer. If there is a family party, big get together, barbecue, anything kind of like big when it involves family members getting together, then the first thing I'll do, nip to Marks and Spencers, I'll buy about eight bottles of Paula's Weiss beer. This is the Crystal Weiss beer. Crystal R. So I'm interested with this one because I must have drunk well over 200 pints of Paul and his regular Weiss beer. And this is the first time I'm trying their Crystal Weiss beer. Now this is available from beersofeurope.co.uk. Um, it is half litre, 5.2% ABV, 500ml dark brown bottle. Here is the Paul and a bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, look at that. I've even got a Paul and a glass. I got, you know, I'm such a fan of Paul and a beer that I've managed to get two Paul and a glasses. Um, yes, my it, it's probably my favourite easy to get. Easy to get vice beer. Readily available vice beer is Paul and a... Uh, there's fantastic vice beers from Weistafana, uh, quite like um, Francis Canner, pretty good vice beer. Again, readily available vice beer. Um, but there's some really good vice beers out there. Really, really good vice beers. Um, Kapuzina, they make a, a really nice vice beer in Germany. Meisel, Meisel make a fantastic Meisel Weiss. Fantastic Weiss beer. But this one's a clear one. Crystal Weiss, Crystal Weiss beer. So what they've done, they've cleared out all of the kind of the haziness from a regular Weiss beer. Now, I always find this slightly confusing. Have they brewed this style of beer for people who drink with their eyes? They want to drink a Weiss beer, but they don't want to drink the cloudiness. So have they brewed this for the international market? Because if they have brewed this for the international market, I never see it anywhere. You never see it in Marks and Spencers. You never see it kind of in regular stores. I can't imagine, because the Germans like really know what they're doing when it comes to beer. I can't imagine there's too many German people out there that go, ooh, cloudy beer. I can't drink that. I can't imagine it because the Germans have been brought up drinking vice beer. It's, it's cloudy. It's mo supposed to be like that. So my question to you guys is, and I've done a few crystal vice beers over the last week. So um, apologies if I sound a little bit like a scratch record. But can you comment in the comments box? Can you give me why you think this crystal vice beer has a place in the market. Is it for people who drink with their eyes? <laughs> I have the beer has to be clear type of thing. Two finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Um, the beer, yeah, it's available available from beersreviewed.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. If you've travelled away, if you've worked away, if you've been on holiday you found that very special beer that you've fallen in love with, and we've all done it, then the best place to find it in the UK, if you can find it, is beersofeula.co.uk. Link in the description box of the video. So aroma then. It definitely smells like Paul and his vice beer. But I always think when I try these, when I get the aroma and taste these Crystal Vice beers, that it does seem like there's something lacking. I 
like it's not a full on 100% kind of vice beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Spicy, peppery. Banana, clove. Clean, clean, um, crispy, crispy and clean, like a, dare I say it, like a, a Helles Lager. Or a, or, a, or a German Pilsner or something like that. Of course, not with those kind of German Pilsner hops. Definitely not with those Pilsner German hops. But I'm thinking about the mouthfeel of a German Pilsner. How clean and crispy those German Pilsners are. As long as, as well as, sorry, the, the Helles Lagers. But it's, for me, when I think of vice beer, now this is good. This is good. I like it. I love all the banana, the clove, the spices. But for me, the reason why I think it's lacking and the reason why I think that I will always review a crystal vice beer, but I won't necessarily follow that up with buying five bottles of it, and having a bit of a session on it is that I like a regular vice beer with its creaminess, that unfiltered body, that wonderful body of a vice beer is terrific and I love it. And, and the problem with, I think, these crystal vice beers, or not so much a problem, but more of maybe a slight issue for me is that they're not supposed to be overly crispy. They're not supposed to be kind of clinically crispy and, and then having that kind of banana and clove and spices without a real big hop kick on the back end. It's a bit too clinical. It's a bit too clean for my liking. The carbonation, you really get a sense of the carbonation. It's a bit hissy and fizzy on the palate. Whereas when you have a regular German Weiss beer, it's much more of a creamy mouthfeel. You do get the carbonation, of course, but it's more of a natural kind of creaminess with that little bit of carbonation. And it's more of a full bodied beer. I'm really, they're obviously a thing because you can go into Asda in the UK, you can buy an Erdinger Crystal Weiss beer. Um, you can go online at Beers of Europe and, and I've, drunk, I've drunk four different types of Crystal Weiss beers this week and they've all come from beersofeurope.co.uk. But I've struggled with them all week. I've, I've done each beer on a daily basis and I've just struggled to really grasp the idea behind brewing it. The reasons as to why they want to brew a Crystal Weiss beer. And it's that reason why I will always buy regular Weiss beer. It's too clean and clinical. Right, everything's in German. Um, I still love Paul and a brewery. Um, but I think if I was to stand here just because I love Paul and a brewery and go, oh yeah, this is great, I love it, it's fantastic, then I wouldn't be true to myself and I wouldn't be true to you, would I? Um, it's much better if I stand here and say, oh, you know, it's not quite for me but it might be for you, go out and try it because I'm giving my, my, my 
always, always on the channel, my 100% original kind of thoughts without bending, bending myself to, to like the, my love affair with Paul and her. Of course, there's always going to be a beer from a brewery that you may not like as much as you like other beers from a brewery. That's natural. That's absolutely kind of the normal thing to go to, to, to happen in life. So as much as I love Paul and her, as much as I love Paul and his Weiss beer and then Dunkel Weiss and some of their other beers that I've tried that have been fantastic. I'm not really a fan of this. I'm not really a fan. Um, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.